this next home that we're about to tour is called the Rapture. I'm feeling the color of this house and the shutters. It kind of reminds me of mine, but I just love the, I love this color. I've always loved this color. So this is the Rapture that we're about to view. So let's go see what she looks like. Looks like the door is already open. I don't know if someone's in here or they just left it open for me, but let's go see what she looks like. Oh, this is pretty. Very nice. This is the Rapture, you guys. Wayne Fire Homes. This is the door that we just entered. Cut out. Love it. Love that I can put an entry table there. Very nice. That's your living room. This isn't a huge home, but I love this, the openness. Reminds me of my home space-wise, the size of the home. Love it. Got the wood trim, even around the doors. I like that. Very nice. Very nice. The living room overlooks the kitchen. Love the co cover, color of the cabinets. Lots of cabinet space and open shelving. You've got an island there that'll fit too. You've got granite countertops and you've got a brown countertop on the outer perimeter with the granite on the island. Very nice. You have some pantry space here. Um, the, ca the counter space has kind of a wood look. It looks really nice in here. I love the huge uh, window over the kitchen sink. You've got a black hood over the black stove. They have black appliances in here. Very nice. Very nice. We'll come over here, scan the room. Love the backsplash. And it, um, you have the dining room is an open area on the other side of the island. Cute, cute, cute. I love this. Love it, love it, love it. So in the kitchen, this is your view. You have your dining room there and your living room over there. And then I'll go into the living room and let you scan the room from that side. So you have your dining room there. Now I love the feature wall. That is just enough wood for me. It's not too much and it looks nice. Right next to the kitchen. Very good. So I noticed that off the kitchen you had um, your utility room. Awesome. So your washer and dryer go there and your back door is here. So that's your utility room. Your heating and air unit is that white thing over there. Decent space in the utility room and it's right off the kitchen. Perfect. Now you have this hallway here between the living room and the kitchen. So let's go down this hallway and see how many bedrooms we, we come to. This first door on the right is bedroom number one. So you have bedroom number one. There's your closet. Very good. Very nice. Then you have bedroom number two. Awesome. That window's closed. But it's enough lighting in here to see how much space you have. And then your closet is over here. 
So bedroom number two in its closet. Awesome. Oh, this is a four bedroom. Bedroom number three. The bigger of the three guest bedrooms. Nice. And then you have a walk-in closet in here. Awesome. I would bring the shelving on this wall for more space. Very nice. I know y'all hear that swoosh and that's my backpack on my back. I love this backpack. Everything I need is in here. Now it's dark in here, but I think you can see you have a one sink, but you have a lot of cabinet space. There's your toilet, shower and tub combination. Y'all see how my camera focusing in on that dark space? You go, Ken and T7i. I love you. She's doing so much better than her sister. Very nice. So let's go see the master bedroom. All right, this is your master bedroom. Decent, it's decent. It's not the biggest master bedroom that I've seen. Normally, I, they're bigger, but it is a decent space. I don't know if I'm really letting you see how big it is. So again, it is a decent space. Probably needs a ceiling fan in here. And then you've got your master bath. You've got a vanity there, two sinks over there, and a huge mirror. Now, here's what, what I would have done different. I would have put the vanity in the middle and separated the sinks. But then my husband would probably like that because it would keep him, me out of his way if I'm doing my makeup or something. So I could see that. Then next to the sinks you have the garden tub. You got a feature wall made out of that wallpaper with the wooden trim. That's a nice feature. Your toilet is there. You have a double, sh or you have the huge shower with the large um, shower head and you have a window over the toilet. Very nice. You also in this room have the master closet. It is a walk-in closet. Lots of space in there. Awesome. And this door closes. So you don't have to have um, that door open. Very nice. So again, it doesn't have the largest master bedroom, but it is a really nice master bedroom. Well, that's all for this tour, you guys. Thank you for watching the Mobile Home Diva. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And leave me a comment if there's anything about this house you would change. Thank you for watching.